Hi, uh, this is Barry Selby, I'm known as the, well, the love doctor to my clients and friends, although my message is shifting, and tonight's topic is part of that. Um, if you're watching this live, thank you for being here, and if you're watching it in replay, either on Facebook, on YouTube, or on my website, thank you for being here as well. Um, this particular topic comes from, um, thank you for all the hearts, I appreciate that, can't see who that is though. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, you won't know what I'm talking about, so don't worry about it. That's why I tend not to answer questions on Facebook Live, because by the time it gets to YouTube, you won't know what they are. Um, so, this topic is really, really up in my face right now. I was early spent today at my friend's um, a, a memorial service, a friend of mine, who I wasn't that close to, but a lot of people who were there absolutely were friends with hers, and I really appreciated that. But I was in a conversation with a friend of mine who I will tag in the comments, uh, Triambeka, who is a Tantra teacher, as is the person we were um, honoring who departed. And this conversation is about the coaching industry. Yes, we're going to go big on this one. And about really this whole internet marketing um, proliferation of get rich, do, do big things in the world and make a massive difference. And having a conversation with Triambeka or a tree or try as, they, as she's called, there was this distinct, we were on the same page about this. There's this push in the coaching entrepreneurial business to go big all the time, make lots of money, go from six figures to seven figures, make it happen, make it happen. And to be frank, some of those people I won't spend any money with. Because a lot of people who are doing this work and being visible and being massive are two-dimensional, they're flat, they're not really connected, and it really frustrates me to watch this. And in fact, I saw another friend of mine, um, Steph, who I'll mention in this too, about this yesterday. And so this is, that's why it's very much in my awareness today. This thing about stepping up, and a lot of momentum is building, because there is a need for, for all of us to step up into our truth, into our authenticity, into our um, passion, into our work in the world. And... For many people, there's this drive to do it because they're watching other people teach them how to do it on their terms and it's not working. As I said in the title, I said it's time to step up by first stepping in. So what I mean by that, to give you the piece, and then I'll come back to what the challenges are, is that so many people are driven by, I've got to be like them, I've got to compete with them, so I'm going to be doing it from all up here. Which is fine in the current, or I should say the old model, the old paradigm. But what I'm very aware of that's what I'm doing in a video now. I mean, literally, I just got home from the memorial and I wanted it while it's still light out because I wanted to use daylight for the shooting. So this was like, do it now or wait till tomorrow. And like, no, let's do it now. The evidence I'm watching and what I'm seeing out there is there are many people teaching this sort of work about how to make money, how to be on stage, how to get lots of people in your programs, build your email, it's all this stuff. Make lots of money at it, but there's no soul to it. There's no heart to it. There's no connection to it. And frankly, they're taking people's money. And people who are doing the programs rarely succeed. There's a gap there. So, to tease the, 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 the solution, I'll do it now, is about, for many people out there who are doing this work, the mistake that they are making is they're too busy watching what's out there instead of being driven by what's in here. So what I mean by this is that we need to be guided by an inner guidance system, our heart, our, it's our, it's our divining rod, it's our um, barometer to guide us. But so many people in the industry of changing people's lives the transformational business, the inspiration business even, are not living what they teach. And they're also not being guided by an inner guidance that's deeper than their mind. They're going by recorded information, their memories, their learned behavior. And I'm no different from that in some ways. I've learned a lot of stuff myself, but I've also integrated it into my own life. In fact, my message and my marketing is shifting because I'm starting to live up to what I'm realizing I need to teach and live by too. And so what I'm watching um, so what I'm watching here is this split that may be happening in, in this industry, if you can call it that, this, this coaching slash internet marketing slash speaking email list type industry, which is 17 industries in one, is that we are missing something. We're missing the understanding of connection. And what I'm starting to do more of now in my own emails to my email list and to my audience, my subscribers, is speak to them from the heart. And thank you, for Steph, for that one, because that was one of the things she taught me very powerfully. Um, I'll put her in the tags as well so you can find her out. That there's a... Um, 
there's a, I'm going to say this in a polite way, <laughs> there's a need, a need for a change. It's obvious in watching reality TV, watching political stuff, watching so many things out in the world that seem to portray that we need to be in this place of trying to make things happen, get it done, make it go, you know, step up, make it happen, like drive, push, 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 push. And people are burning out. The people on stage, people in the audiences don't want to sign up because they're really being, being, being talked at, not talked with. Um, there are people making lots of more money than other people are, and it's not functional. It's actually dysfunctional. So the title in this, was, as I said, is about going in first before you go up, stepping in before you step up. And I mean this seriously. We, are, as leaders, in whatever arena you lead in, need to let your heart lead you. You need to be willing to take second place in a way, your mind, your getting go, 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 to being heart-driven. And I'm going to call out some people I know, and they know who they are because I'll be saying this. Those people say that they're going to go out and crush it. It always rankles me the wrong way. It, it bugs me because there's this... Crushing is, is killing, is destroying, is, is making things, you know, is getting rid of stuff. And I understand the intent behind the message, but crushing it doesn't work for me as a term because it implies, like, I'm better than that. My ego is stronger than that. And it's like, no. If you're doing it that way, I'm not going to say you're doing it wrong, but you're being less effective. So, and I'm trying to see if there's, I'm looking to see if there's a solution I'm bringing to the path, which basically the simple solution is this. For those of you who are leading, who want to step into leadership, be it on stage, in front of an audience, whether it's online or, in, or live, where you have a message to give, to teach, to share, I applaud you, I appreciate you, I'm glad you're saying yes, and well, I'm inviting you to say yes and step up. Before you do that, step in and listen to your inner guidance. I will say a couple of things on this from my own journey. My book was from inner guidance that I fought for three weeks. Like I, I had this... After I'd created the content of the book without realizing I created the content for the book, I had an argument with that voice, you know, the voice that was something beyond me, bigger than me. God, call it that if you want to call it, or spirit, or your higher self, whatever you want to call it. That voice for three weeks was persistent, consistent, and calm, reminding me to take action to write the book. And I said, no. So I know what it feels like to resist that voice. Now I am an obedient servant to that voice because it takes me to the right places. And in fact, What's happening now is my coaching, and I don't want to call it coaching, but my guidance work is shifting too because I'm listening to a deeper place. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be the best place, financially speaking necessarily, because the thing about it is I presume, I trust, I, I am hoping that I'll be making lots of money doing this, but I will do this regardless of that. I will focus on what is driving me to serve others and make a difference. And then... If the money comes, which it will, I'm sure, it will come. Rather than going, I've got to make lots of money and get all these people to buy my program so I can make lots of money. If you do it that way, nine times out of ten, you're going to have dissatisfied customers. You're going to have people not wanting to buy your stuff. So this is a this is a reminder for those who want to learn how to market and stuff. I, I, I've had some great experiences with some great coaches over the years, and some of them didn't guide me clearly. I'm clear now. And that's no That's no fault of theirs. It's just what they knew best. And maybe I'm going deeper than they did. Perhaps I've been in this journey for 30 years. I've learnt many times that I've been superficial or that I can go deeper. So I'm remembering for all of us that our chance to do this work properly is to be guided from something deeper inside of ourselves than this. So in, in reverence and bows to my friend Sam who passed, in reverence to my friend and uh, colleague Triambika, as well as my friend Steph, who have been giving me hints along this way too. And the conversation today with Triambika was perfect to remind me to say this. So this talk, this brief video, is in honor to them, but also for you. To say this, that if you're not sure what you're here for, what you're here to do, it's kind of what's becoming my skill set, because I'm really doing my own work on this. And if you want some guidance, I will help you. But I'm asking you, before you step up, even though we need you to step up now, and yes, please, step up, before you do that, Step in. Listen to your inner guidance. Let that lead you where you know, where you know you need to go. All right? Um, I'm not going to get into much explanation. I want to just get that message out because it was bugging me and I was not going to sit and wait with it. So that's my talk for tonight or today. Um, if you're watching my Periscope broadcast, sorry, what Periscope? I wasn't even talking about Periscope. If you watch this on Facebook, thank you. Please share it out. If you watch it on YouTube, please like it. If you want to comment, feel free and also share it out there too. Um, if you watch it on my website, thank you.
check out other parts of my website. I can help you with different areas. Even though the branding still looks like love coaching, this is becoming more important for me. So thank you for watching and thanks for being here. And uh, I'll be back again soon. Take care. Bye.